Today we're going to be reviewing Chrono Trigger. When I first played this game 15 years ago, I remember thinking that time travel was like Doc Brown's DeLorean on steroids. What's this? What's this? What did I tell you? It was the best time travel story in any video game, or any other media for that matter. And trust me, I've seen it all, including time traveling toilet paper. Now that's an invention worth investing in. Imagine never running out of toilet paper again. But let's find out if it's a timeless classic or just regular toilet paper. Let's go. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, Chrono Trigger. The game that's older than some of the people watching this review. If you're not familiar with this game, it's an RPG that was originally released for the Super Nintendo in 1995. The same year as the OJ Simpson trial and the first season of Friends. The game's character designs are by Akira Toriyama, the mastermind behind Dragon Ball Z. In Japan, it sold about 2.5 million copies, but only about 300,000 in the US. So here are some things that I liked about the game. The game starts off great. You wake up as Chrono on the day of the festival celebrating a battle that was won over 400 years ago. You are the great warrior that this festival is all about, but you just haven't done it yet. The fair is fantastic, bright, and full life, and there's a lot to interact with. You can play games like Ring the Bell, Bet on the Race, and Drink Soda Fast, which is my personal favorite because it's just an excuse to mash buttons. Besides the mini games, you'll run into your first party member, Marl, or is it Marley? This game has its fair share of hard to pronounce names. Is it Lucca or Luca, Queen Lean, or is it Queen Lene, and Chrono? Okay, the game has an H, but Chrono doesn't have an H. And what about this name? Comment down below if you have any other way to pronounce these names. After you have Marl, you go and check out the science experiment where they're testing teleporters. And Marl's necklace accidentally sends her back in time to the great battle. And that's just the start of the epic journey. The story is fun and chaotic and you'll travel throughout time, affecting different time periods with your actions. I love the fact that you think that you're doing the right thing, only to find out that you're the cause of all the future problems. The time traveling elements are great too. It works in ways that you'd expect it to. See an item in the past, open it in the future to get a better quality item because it's aged over time. Then go back to the past again to get the original item or defeat an enemy in the past and you will have to deal with them in the future or steal from the enemy in the future and then go back to the past and steal from them again. Now for what I didn't like. For the most part, you only fight battles when you run into an enemy, but there are a few minor spots where it does random battles and I feel like they're making up for the lack of random battles in other places. And let me tell you, you can't go two feet in those sections without being attacked. The battles can feel a little stale once you know what to do. You spam the same attack over and over because it's the only thing that's doing damage. And then you heal when your health is low. It's like a never ending cycle of attack, heal, attack, heal. Very rarely do you try something new. One. All in all, I really like this game. I just didn't end up liking it as much as I did 15 years ago. There was something about that final boss, Lavos, that just seemed like a cheap plot point. Some alien from another world came crashing in and ruining everything. You know, I just really liked it when it was you messing up your own timeline. You know what? I'm going back 15 years to tell myself to enjoy playing this game then. Because when we play it in the future, we won't like it as much. Man, I can't see anything in these things. But gotta look cool. Alright, let me press pause here. Uh, setting back 15 years. Well, I think I did that right. Ah, oh, all right. Wish me luck. Oh, wow. Look at my room. It's just how I remember it. And look at me. I look so young. Who the hell are you? I'm you from the future. Ooh. Oh, God. Do we die in the future? Uh, no, I, I don't know why I was talking like that. I just came back in time to tell you that you should enjoy your playthrough of Chrono Trigger because the next time you play it, Lavos is going to ruin it for you. That's it? Yep, that's it. So no stocks to buy or dating advice? Nope. Okay then, uh, thanks for coming by. Yep, no problem. See ya. Yep, see ya. Man, I can't believe I don't like Chrono Trigger in the future. I love playing this game 15 years ago. <laughs> He's much better off now. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to check out my Twitch, there's a link down below. And if you want to check out my other reviews, they're right over here. Hey, thanks guys. See ya.